Welcome to Unimus 1.9.0 release overview. 1.9.0 is the biggest Unimus release yet and brings many new features, improvements and bug fixes. We recommend going through the change walk to learn about everything that is new, but this video will cover the biggest new features and changes. The first new major feature are the updates to device tags. We improved the usability of device tags and updated the related device access limitation system. Device tags now have their own top-level menu, and managing them is more user-friendly. This includes a new tags window on the device's screen. The device access limitation system was also updated to be easier to work with. The device access table in user management has been simplified, and in the devices screen we added a new table that shows which accounts have access to this device, and what grants user the access. You can find this table under the new tags window. We have also added device ownership. When a user creates a device, he is assigned as the owner of that device. Owners have access to their devices even if limited by tags or by other access limitations. This fixes an issue where an access limited operator level user was not able to see the devices they themselves created. You can of course change the owner of any device or set the owner for a device to none. All in all, these changes improve the device access limitation system greatly and make it easier to work with. The next major new feature is the high security mode for credentials and enable slash configure passwords. When creating a new credential, you can now create it in high security mode. This will make the password for this credential completely private and disables any show password features for that credential across Unimus. This will make the password unretrievable, even to administrator-level accounts, making it easier to comply with security requirements in strict environments. Next, we have the sensitive data stripping feature. When you enable this feature, Unimus will strip any sensitive data, like passwords, pre-shared keys, or any other secrets, before storing backups of your devices. This means that Unimus will not hold any sensitive data in the backups it retains. This feature is meant for high security environments and currently only works on Cisco ASA, iOS, iOS XR, Nexus, and NXOS devices. We will, however, be adding support for sensitive data stripping to more vendors and devices in future releases. For the last major features, we have updated the comments windows across all of Unimus. The windows now have live updates, so when someone comments, all other open comments windows will refresh automatically. When a new comment is added to any entity in the system, all other users also immediately see the comment icon updated as well. This makes the commenting feature in Unimus update in real time for all users and dramatically improves UX. In addition to these new features, we have also added support for 9 new devices from various vendors, as well as 10 other new minor features. There are also new API endpoints present for config change and div retrieval over the API. We recommend checking out the full change log for more details. This release also contains fixes for more than 20 various issues and bugs reported since the 1.8 branch released. We have worked hard to eliminate all issues small and large and fixed many edge cases where device communication would fail. We are happy to report that from beta and RC testing, the 1.9.0 release is showing to be the most stable release of Unimus yet. We highly recommend all users to upgrade to this release. And that's it for the 1.9.0 release overview. As always, we would love to hear your feedback or help out if you run into any issues. You can contact us through our forums, through live chat on our websites, or on any of the social platforms. Thanks!